Okay. <laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Tara Crush back with another review and this time it is for Love Island USA. If you haven't already, please hit my subscribe button down at the bottom. I so appreciate you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so it is getting real juicy, y'all, and I do not know what to do with myself or my hands. Okay, we're going to start out with Zeta and Courtney. They are so cute. They have such a very cute friendship and I just really appreciate them. I appreciate how Zeta shows up for her and I appreciate how Courtney is always funny. And wasn't it funny when Zeta was talking to Courtney about Jordan? <laughs> and Courtney was like, I just didn't feel a spark, you know? It's like, he's cool, but you know. <laughs> And Zeta said his feet. And he was wearing them sandals. Listen, I lost my man. Because Courtney's face was like. And he doesn't have socks on. Like, I prefer them not at all. <laughs> I said, Courtney. <laughs> I could definitely see her being a person that doesn't like a guy in sandals. And I can't say that I'm a fan myself. So, you know, there's that. But um, she was she did have a connection with Jordan. They slept together the first night. She did not feel a spark. Again, I don't think she felt this wink, wink. So that's why she's moving right along. Then we have uh, Naja, who is really into Nick. But I don't think they will keep him for her because I don't know. Unless she can actually, unless she actually has an opportunity to choose between who she's partnered with now and who she wants to partner with. If there's like a choice and everybody can choose, then I definitely feel like she might keep Nick over Jeff because she's definitely feeling him over Jeff. Definitely, definitely enjoying their makeout sessions more, which just makes me wonder about her initial connection with Jeff in the first place. That's just me. And then we have Jerry, Jared and... Shansay. Now, ain't they cute? Shansay, Shansay is the redhead. Very pretty girl. Jared is the fine, tall, dark glass of wine. <laughs> that is definitely probably the finest person this season. I don't know what it is about Jared, but he, he could, he, he's a little young, but he could get it. No, I'm just playing. He can't get it. He's too young. I'm just playing. Just playing. Don't come to people on them now. <laughs> But yeah, Jared is very, very attractive. He's definitely feeling Chante and her, him. So I'm hoping that, you know, it is a situation because nobody's told me how this thing works. So I'm hoping it's a situation where everybody can choose who they want to be with. But I don't know how real that would be because it would be way too many people in the house. So I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think or expect. So we just got to see. And maybe it does... Is it a lot of couples that wind up coming out of this? I don't know. Look, look, y'all got to tell me. Y'all got to help me. Y'all not helping me. And I think with with Chad and Courtney, I feel like it's real. I just hope that she's not one of those players. Like, she just, you know, she don't love them. She just uses them. You know, she's just a sexual being and she just uses men. I'm hoping she's not like that because Chad seems to be a genuine person, in my opinion. And I think she wants something genuine that actually has a spark. And I think Chad provides that for her. I think it was super desperate for Kat to even go after Chad when she knew she wasn't even feeling him like that. And for her to act like that she's not pursuing him because there just wasn't a spark is BS. There was a spark, but you understood that he was feeling Courtney and now you feel like you ain't good enough. And I just don't like the way you move, Kat. You are sneaky, just like a cat. I know why they call you that. I know why they call you that cat, and it's not going to do you any good to continue to be this way. You need to be real with yourself and stop acting so desperate. If your love is not in that house, honey, leave. Do not continue to look like 
you can cook and cut any man into your life because that's what it's looking like. Like you will take anybody. Not cool. And be honest with yourself. You did like you did like Chad, but you don't like the fact that he didn't like you back as much as he liked um, Courtney. I mean, and Courtney is a sweetheart. I mean, she looks she's definitely beautiful, but she does have a lot of brains about her. So don't just judge the book bag's cover and you know its actions because she does like to kiss a lot, but she has a lot of knowledge in her head. And then we have Chaz and Gabby who definitely have hit it off. He enjoyed sleeping with her the first night. Um, they opened up the hideaway for them because they won the challenge. And, of course, the, the boys voted for Chaz and Gabby to go into the um, hideaway, which was cute. And they took full advantage of that. I just pray she's not playing him to get in the house. I know. I know I don't trust these girls and I don't trust these guys because it seems that everybody is for self. So, um, I want to talk about the sleeping arrangements on the, on the night, second night. We had from Casa Amor, we had Chaz and Gabby, of course, in the Hathaway and they was making out something first, honey. Mm, they was really making out. We had Tiger Lily sleeping by herself. We had Jesse and Avery sleeping together. Absolutely no action at all. We had Jeff sleeping alone, which I'm not sure why, what happened between his connection with Tiger Lily that made him sleep alone. That was just weird to me because they, I thought they hit it off pretty good, but I guess not. I guess not. I don't know, but he, they were definitely sleeping alone. So something happened that they didn't show us. So maybe somebody can tell me that in the comments. But then we have um, Timmy and Bella. No action there. Jared and Shantae, they were definitely making out. Definitely making out. And then we have Phoebe and Isaiah. And they were definitely making out something fierce. They were def definitely making out. They were kissing. They were looking each other in the eyes. They were having a connection. Not good. Not healthy for a relationship. And then in the in the villa, we had Jordan sleeping alone, Trey sleeping alone. We had Sydney and Sam sleeping together, but they weren't, there was no action there. We had Kat and Zeta outside. Of course, they were just sleeping on the day bed. We had Nick and Naja definitely hooking up, definitely smooching and doing all of that good stuff. Definitely enjoying each other's face. And then we had Courtney and Chad, which were definitely she might as well uchi coochie at this point. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. They just say, you know, Courtney, she's hot. <laughs> and then they see, see, I like that for her. I like that. See, see, Courtney and Chad. And then Nick and Naja. I like that. Nick and Naja. Nick and Naja. So <laughs> I do like that. And then we had Deb and Kyle. And Deb was definitely enjoying herself with Cal. She is enjoying all of the attention that he is providing her. And um, the surface stuff that he's giving her massages. He's making out with her. He's making her feel beautiful. I love their conversations. And I'm really hoping that she keeps them. Because Deb deserves some happiness in this house. She's a different, she has a different stride to her, a different confidence about her. Right now, she's just trying to figure out if she wants to continue this good streak or if she wants to go and try to cultivate the, the lackluster non-connection that she had with Jesse. And I don't know, maybe Jesse has learned something from this and he's going to get back in that house and really make out with Deb. I don't know. But I don't know if he's going to have the opportunity because he may actually lose that opportunity. He really may. Because she's definitely confused about Cal and doesn't know what to do. And let's see. Jared likes Chance and he may get his wish to keep her. I think he might just keep her. Um, and that's going to be crazy because Chance also had a, a connection with Isaiah. And Isaiah is definitely feeling Phoebe. But he's not sure which way to go. Now, Phoebe, now these girls are so desperate to get in this house. Like, I don't understand. They be so desperate. I be like, are you really into him? Or are you just into getting in the house? Like, I just really would love to know how many of these girls can actually go. How many of the guys can actually stay? Like, what are we actually doing here? If I decide to keep this guy 
in the villa, does my guy have to go home if I'm not single? I mean, how does it work? I don't understand how it works. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. But we'll we'll find out. I'm hoping tomorrow. And then, so so with Phoebe and Isaiah, he's 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 confused. He does not know what to do. Uh, Sydney is losing her mind because she doesn't understand what's going on. She wish she wish she knew, but she doesn't have very much confidence in herself. She she says she has a confidence in their connection, but not necessarily herself. And she says that if he walks us in there, but somebody knew that she's going to feel like she wasn't good enough. And ladies, y'all got to stop feeling like this. Y'all got to stop feeling like this when a man don't see you, feeling like the, that you ain't worthy of being seen. No, honey, it's not you, it's him. Stop doing that. I don't like it. Stop crying over a man that is not crying over you. Please, stop. Stop. And um, and um, that's pretty much all. Again, I think the big takeaways is I don't know if Jesse's going to have a girl when he gets back to the villa. Um, I love the fact that Timmy is definitely a stand-up dude and is not cuddling, doing anything with that girl. I would really like to know what happened between Tiger Lily and Jeff, if somebody could fill me in on that. And I'm going to pretty much cut the review off right there. And I'm going to ask first, though, if you would, if you haven't already, please hit my subscribe button. Okay, and I thank you for that. And again, if you don't want to subscribe, you know what? Thank you for watching. I need you and appreciate you as well. Okay? All right. <laughs> that is my $5.02. Peace.